Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I am Lady Calmer, and I am doing my 109th video. And it will be on the goddess Sarasvati. And I hope everyone is happy today, and I hope you're all smiles. If not, at the end of this video, I hope you are smiling. So Sarasvati, who is she? What is she? She is the Hindu goddess of all wisdom and knowledge. As I said in my other video about Lakshmi, that Lakshmi is food for the body. As Sarasvati is food for the mind. Sarasvati is the goddess of all knowledge and wisdom. She is the goddess of the spoken word and of the written word. She, in her earliest incarnation, was a river, which is now said to be invisible and under the invisible to the human eye and under the ground, under the earth. She originally was a goddess that had dominion over purification, procreation, and all fertility. Sarasvati resides in us, in our brain. That's our home, our mind, our brain, our tongue. She resides in the tongue our throat chakra and our third eye chakra, the Agnya chakra. And the Visuddha chakra, our throat chakra. Her name means the flowing one for she flows like a river. Like our thoughts. See, flowing she is the flowing of our intellect, our thoughts, and our mind. She is the goddess of thoughts. She is the goddess of imagination, inspiration. Hello, Shad. This is Shadow, by the way, covering up Sev's body. She, her, in her four hands, it is says to also not only represents the four books of the Veda, for she was also called in one of her incarnations, Veda Mata, of Veda Ma. She is the mother of the Vedas, but in her four hands represents the mind, the thought or intellect or intelligence, the intelligence and the ego. So the mind, thought, intelligence, and ego. Even though people like to adorn her, she was really a goddess that unadorns herself with jewelry and makeup. She is also known as Medha, M-E-D-H-A, which means wisdom. Sarasvati represents music. She is a goddess of music and also sheet music. The writing of music. She represents the singer, the composer, the musician. She is the great guru. She represents gurus, sages. She represents saints and teachers. She represents all learning for the sake of learning. Whereas when it comes to learning for money, that's Vijaya Lakshmi when you just do something for money, but she does, what she does is for the sake of learning, spirit, spiritual, spiritually orientated, and also the growing and the educating of our brains, of our minds. Her element is water, especially fresh water. Her planetary powers are, she's the moon, 
but also she's put on the sphere of Jupiter. Her main color that she enjoys is white. The flower she uses that represents her is the lotus. Sarasvati crystals and stones are definitely pearls. Pearls is a great stone to use for her, as well as quartz crystal. And as white quartz are also called snowy quartz. Also one, another stone that is used for her, as some people use for her, is uh, the blue lace agate. I know some people associate emeralds with her and fluorite for some reason. But she is the fulfillment of all understanding of all knowledge. She is the divine word. And the secular word. She is mantras, chants, and prayers. She is, represents musicians and writers and teachers. She's prof she is philosophers. Are you going to stop? I see you, Joker. You're trying to get my drink, but you're not getting it. And Joker wants to get up on the altar here, but Shadow's here. The old man Shadow, who will be 18 years old in July. So next month is his birthday. So her creatures, her animals, the, the peacock is her herald, but her mount is the swine. So peacocks and swans represent her. Can you stop, Shadow? I know you want to knock it over. But you don't need to. You really don't. So this is my card on Sarasvati, the goddess of learning. And as you see here, success in education, perfection of memory, enhanced intellectual ability, mastery of musical instruments. What brings to mind the organization of Mensa. For she would represent that. And that card comes from gods and goddesses. Mantras, Blessings, and Meditations card deck. We have a second card here. Sarasvati. Express yourself through creative activities. For, let me get this before I go on. From this god book deck. Goddesses, Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, PhD. For Goddess is a Sarasvati. I mean, Sarasvati is a goddess of arts and crafts and artists, painters, people who are interior designers and interior design, who are decorators, who do fashion for a living. Anything to deal with art. It could be sculpture. It could be drawing, sketching, even with uh, like uh, the uh, computer language, binary should binary code. Sorry, binary code would be hers. She is the goddess of all codes: Morse code, secret codes, 
She is the goddess of poetry. Books. In fact, books are books represent her. And some Hindus will not put books on the floor because it would be an insult to Sarasvati. So any book you can think of, whether it's the Bible, the Vedas, the Torah, anything. But it's a book, right? It's written. doesn't matter what your opinion of it, what you think of it, how you feel about it. The phone book, a cookbook, a, a fantasy novel. It could be a sci-fi book. It could be a magazine. Anything in print. It could be even maps. Anything that is dealing with intelligence. Okay? To be able to draw a map and read a map deals with intelligence. Math. Science. Literature, history, all that is learning. The medical field, it would be part of her, for, but with learning, where Zanvantari is the god of healing, and but she is also, in order to become a doctor, you have to know math, you have to know how to read you have to know how to follow directions you have to think right you have to figure out what is wrong with the patient what antibiotics to give you have to know all this you have to know measurements do you not you have to get a degree you have to pass exams you in all the in order to do that you need Sarasvati's help a lawyer to pass pass the bar exam. They need a brain to pass the bar exam. You need to, even for a nurse. Okay? Schools are her home. Whether it's an elementary school. A technical school. A college. A university. All are her homes. From pre-K on up. Learning how to do basic math deals with Sarasvati. One plus one equals two represents Sarasvati. Two times two equals four. All of that deals with Sarasvati from basic math to calculus. All of it deals with the goddess Sarasvati. So Sarasvati is said to be to quarrel with Lakshmi. Sometimes some people say to get along, but other people say it should be a balance of knowledge, wisdom, and wealth. But they say sometimes they quarrel that Lakshmi is jealous of Sarasvati, but it is said that Sarasvati is even more jealous than Lakshmi. And that is why they say when you worship them, you should start with Sarasvati first to appease her, not to piss her off. Sarasvati is unlike Lakshmi, where Lakshmi will come and go. You'll have here today, gone tomorrow. Once Sarasvati comes, she's usually going to stay. She's the attainment of knowledge. She's also the goddess of spiritual pursuits. So here we see her that she is sitting on the lotus. And she's a company. And sometimes she's even seen company with her swan. She holds... As you see, she holds the Vena, and that represents v it represents uh, several things. One, it represents us, from our base of our spine to all the way here to our head, where she tunes us. She aligns us. 
she balances us as this represents the spine where she brings the knot that also deals with the whole tantra kundalini but it also deals with music as well of course Davina but she is the one that tunes us she when I say she's a goddess of of the written word then she would also deal with Printing, ink, the pen, the pencil, the paintbrush, the paint. She deals with the publishings. So where newspapers are published, books are published, that's where you're going to find the power of Sarasvati. So I know with hoodoo, and this is a little bit different. This is, of course, a different subject. We you use dirt for different things. Cemetery dirt, dirt from a courthouse. So with Saravati, if you want to use certain dirt that would be associated with her, or it would be the dirt from a school, college, the dirt from a publishing house, library dirt, anything to do with that. And she deals with libraries, and she deals with the librarian. Libraries and librarians. That's what she's going to be. So, so please deal with me. I'm I'm sick right now. I'm dealing with two infections. I'm taking two antibiotics, and I do not use a script. Nor do I use notes. This is from what I know about the great goddess Sarasvati. As anyone will tell you, I don't use scripts or notes. I only used it once for the Ouija board and I explained why in my video. So she, her, her arms, she also has four arms. And like I say, and that also shows that she, her power extends in the four directions. North, south, east, and west. Sarasvati is a goddess of, she could be very aloof. She likes alone time. Like she is more concerned about spirituality than, and knowledge than she is with sex with her with or and i'll get into this she was said to be the wife of brahma brahma and wanted to create and he is the creator god as we have him back there we have brahma there and he wanted to create correctly and he wondered how he can do it. And there the voice came from him and out of his mouth emerged Sarasvati and she helped him create correctly. Sarasvati is said to be very beautiful though and Brahma desired her to make her his. So Brahma chased her she fled from him in the form of a cow and he a bull. Then she became a mare and he a stallion. Finally, they end up being together. They wanted, he wanted to be together. But Shiva woke up and saw this. And Shiva was angry and in his ferocious form, he took on a terrible form and with his own claws beheaded one of the heads of Brahma. And the head of Brahma stuck to his hand and it caused Shiva pain. And he kind of realized what he did and kind of went mad. And he was speaking jig gibberish. So it was Sarasvati who was pleased with Shiva's actions 
she went to Shiva and healed him just by touching him. Healed him of his madness. So we see that Sarasvati can also bring mental healing, emotional. She can help with that, as we see in that story. Later, Brahma and, v Brahma and Sarasvati do get married, but later divorce. Where then he takes Gayatri, and I explain what happens in my Gayatri video. So look from on that on my channel. Now, it also said that she was also a co-wife of Lakshmi, uh -oh, with Vishnu. Yeah, remember I said they argue? Well, they constantly argued. Vishnu couldn't, couldn't take it anymore. So he put, Laksh he put Lakshmi in his heart, at, or sometimes at his feet, and Sarasvati on his tongue. But later they divorced. So either story, Sarasvati ends up alone. A divorcee. She ends up single. Also, when Krishna comes to earth, after he has to lead, leave Radha, because he could never marry Radha. Mar Radha was not Krishna's wife on earth. Radha was already married. I will explain this one day when I speak about Radha and Krishna, but Krishna marries, and then he has there's two main queens, and one is rich, and she shows off her glamour and that is a form of Lakshmi and then we have a form of Sarasvati where he marries a poor wife who is but poor in money but not poor of mind she is very richly intelligent so there we see the Lakshmi Sarasvati there it is also how did Sarasvati become a river one day Shiva had enough. Lord Shiva looked upon creation and he was going to burn it all down. The gods were scared. All but one. Sarasvati. Shiva opened his eye and let out a great fire to destroy all. She came down as a river from the heavens onto the earth and she absorbed the fire. And she took the fire deep down into the earth where it remains today. Here we see Sarasvati as savior of all creation. We see that the, the word has always been sacred even in the Vedas. Even in the Vedas, this, the words are sacred. In Hindu scriptures, she is the scripture. She is the mantra. And she's the ability to draw out the yantra. She... is the power of civilization and culture and ideas and ideals. She's a goddess of rationality. She is the word and the power behind the word. As we know, even in the internet, People can be inspired to do great things. We can use the good side of Sarasvati to help people donate to charity, to help one another, but also a cruel words can end up causing someone to commit suicide. That's the darker side of Sarasvati. And yes, there is said to be a darker side of use of knowledge where words can create war. Ooh, he, he's like, what? <laughs> words can create tension between nations it can lead to cold wars 
Words can be tremendous power of good and a tremendous power of bad. And we also can see that people use knowledge that could be the same knowledge that can be used to build a nation, can be used to destroy a nation, can be used for medicine, and can be used for weapons of mass destruction. Yes, the power of Sarasvati, her light side and her shadow side. The shadow side of ego saying, I'm better than you. My, my gender is better than yours. My color is better than yours. Oh, look, my sexuality is better than yours. And it can lead to such hate. The same words of love can be used for hate. We see the light side of Sarasvati and then the darker side of Sarasvati. Words can also be used in the propaganda campaign. Which we can see the dark side of Sarasvati. We can see the power of Sarasvati being used for evil. Words being used for evil. As Stalin did. As the Nazis did. But also we use for words of enlightenment. Liberation. And goodness. Sarasvati is more intellectual than Lakshmi. I'm not saying Lakshmi is dumb, but she's mo she deals a lot with emotions where Sarasvati deals with more intellectual. She's more the intellectual side. And you'll see pictures for Diwali. You'll see Lakshmi with Sarasvati and Ganesha. Ganesha can open the way and bring protection and Sarasvati brings us wisdom and the balance of wisdom and the balance of riches. You should hold Sarasvati in one hand and Lakshmi in the other. So, Sarasvati also has the power with her word to cause, to she can use it to curse or to heal. And here we come down to a story where Brahma wanted to hold a yagna. And he needed his wife by his side. But she, being says, Bhati is always more attending to herself. And sometimes she, she wants to get, if she goes, if sometimes she does get dressed nicely, as you see. But she is more into intellectual studies instead of coming to dinner in time. Instead of uh, doing things in a timely manner, she's more into spiritual pursuit. Well, she was late to a very important celestial yagna when the planets were just right. So Brahma decided to take a new bride, and that would be Gayatri. When Sarasvati, and I explained the story there, when Sarasvati found out that there was a woman sitting on her place where she was supposed to be, she was hurt. And she told Brahma she could not believe what she saw. She asked, are you two married? Brahma said, oh yes, it was done so fast and so quick though. So, but come, sit by me. And... Sarasvati just gave, you know how when someone just puts their foot in their mouth, that's what she loved. She was like, yeah, just keep talking. 
And, of course, he he was just... And I guess, and says, what these eyes, La La Land? And she says, I think not. You have shamed me? You had the intention to humiliate me? Have you no shame? Has lust grasped you so much that you stooped to this? And everyone knew there was shit to be had and they like, oh. So she was angry. And people tried to take Brahma's side. And everyone who took Brahma's side, she said, you all defend him? Then Shiva spoke. You defend him? And of course, Brahma's like, oh, beautiful one, oh, fair one, oh, lovely one. Forgive this indiscrimination. I shall never again trouble you in any way, shape, or form. Come, sit down and let this ceremony conclude. Let's start the ceremony. Let's conclude the ceremony and get it done and concluded. And says, he, he was like, uh oh. So Sarasvati says, You are called the great Brahma. You are the father of sages. And you act like this. And you publicly humiliate me and angry. And she said, you have acted stupidly. You call this a most suspicious moment? And he goes, yes, the planets are aligned. She said, good. I'm glad the powers are aligned. Thus, my words will even have more power. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> she goes, Brahma? You shall not be honored in ceremonies from this day forward. No temples shall really honor, shall honor you. There's a few temples. But only for one day of the year shall your status be observed. And as I speak now, this comes to, comes to I manifest this so to be. She turns to Indra. You have found this woman, Gayatri, for him? Your enemies shall find you just as easily. You will become weak. You will be captured, defeated, humiliated, and confined to a strange, strange place. So although you will eventually prevail, you will need the help of supernatural herbs and drinks and potions and other celestials who eventually save the day for you. Your legend as a as capable of defeating anything without aid will now come to an end starting now indra and furthermore you will be completely humiliated in battle and that only a woman can come to save the day and rescue you then she turned her angry eyes to vishnu and you you defend his actions Oh, but your defense of his action cannot be washed away. This sin cannot be washed away. You, you, Vishnu, more than all others here, know the sanctity of love. How dare you do this? So when the world evolves to its physical state, your wife shall come in adoration, beauty, power. Yet she shall be taken from you. And you shall be forced to wander strange lands, remember Rama, in search of her, Rama and Sita. So, and you shall be humbled. And another incarnation have to take care of cows and live a simple life in a simple manner in the simple remote countryside. You shall do this more than once, Vishnu. Then, she took her gaze at Shiva. As for you, Lord of the universe, who thinks himself ever wrapped within himself, you shall lose your manhood. Oh, yes. 
You shall have to take your wife, too, and cherish and love her with great abandon, only to lose her by her own hand. Remember Sati, the story of Sati and Shiva? Oh, she wasn't done then, and she told the priest there, the Bajaris, you, the one who performed the shall always be poor. <laughs> you will be poor in this life. And she had, and then when the other woman came to her, she had choice words for them too. But later on that day, Gayatri and Salvati met. And they laughed. And they complimented each other. For this is what needs to come. So there is an aspect of Sasvati that is Gayatri. So Gayatri is, is, is part of Sasvati and Sasvati is part of Gayatri. But that is one of the stories. Yep, Sasvati. God, I got so wrapped up. I don't have them. Part of being a good storyteller and orator is also Sarasvati. The storytellers of ancient times who had to learn things and remember things and retell things, that is the power of Sarasvati. And Shadow is sleeping. He's just, he's, he's old. <laughs> I pray for him every day with Sa with Ka Gayatri, and she she has really come through for him. So, Sarasvati's words have come to pass in the stories. Sarasvati, foods that you can give her, or fruit, incense, flowers, poetry, art, work, your own drawings, your own paintings, your own poems. You can read her poems. Walnuts, when you crack them open, they look like a brain. They are good offerings to Sarasvati. Anything that is considered to boost your brain. Herbs and food that boost mind power is good for Sarasvati. And I kid you not, you know what the brain eats? Your brain needs oxygen. Okay. But also turns food into glucose, which is brain, which helps the brain. Because that's what the brain lives on is glucose. I, I kid you not. Your body will break down the food. That's why like a carb-free diet is not good. I'm not telling you eat a whole bunch of carbs. I'm just saying when you do a carb-free diet, you'll eventually start getting dizzy because your brain is not getting its nutrients. So you can give her, and that, and since you can give her, uh, people like to give her candy. And people give her sweets anyways and chocolates. I, 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 you can't usually, most days like chocolate, but she also would like white chocolate as well. People give her bread. Vegetarian is the way to go with Sarasvati. Milk. Yogurt. Ghee lamps. The ghee is clarified butter. You can give her cereal. Sarasvati is very approachable. So for those who are wondering, is she, is she easy to please? Is she, is she terrifying? 
No, she is not terrifying, but she does have a warrior aspect called Mahasarvati. So if you go, if anyone has seen the three goddesses, Mahas, you see Mahasarvati, then Mahalakshmi, then Mahakali. You will see Mahasarvati with all different types of weapons. And she uses that to protect against ignorance. She has many epithets. She's even called the living meditation. She is the breath. She's called the breath of poets. She's also called the gentle light, the elegant one. She's even called Brahma herself, Brahmani and Brahmi, or her names, Brahmani and Brahmi. And she is the female Brahma. She is Brahma, but as female. I've seen images of from Brahmani. And that's different. That's a different presentation unto itself. She's also called the goddess of wisdom and the reservoir of life, the abundant waters. She's known as the mother of the Vedas, spiritual books. She has a beautiful countenance. She wears a tiara, the necklace. She has a radiant, beautiful, and graceful form. She does wear, she does hold a rosary, and that's actually called a mala. And the mala beads, and she's holding it, is the correct way to hold a mala bead, like this. She's holding it, actually, if you look at it, it's actually the right hand. And she holds it, and she moves the beads like this. So the mala should be held like if you the metal music i'm in the metal music is my life i love metal <laughs> so i listen to liquid metal every day speaking about music so you hold like it's also used for in other traditions used for protection representing the horn god that's this whole thing is is a presentation unto itself but you hold the mala like this. I explained about malas in my other video, so look it up on my channel. So she is all scriptures. She is the Hindu, especially the Hindu scriptures. The Veena, the Lotus. And sometimes she even extends the Lotus in her offering. She's also called the abundant water. So she, you can give her, of course, fresh water. Some people worship her and do not have much to give. So just giving her water and incense and even just some basic food is good enough for her. Rice is also a good offering. White rice is best. White fruits, many fruits, but especially white fruits. Sarasvati. gives us the power of speech. It's even in the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of, pe of the press is also there. So we have freedom of speech, we have the freedom of the press. People who report the news and write it down, people who speak the news also deals with the power of Sarasvati. Sarasvati
does like the truth. So, most pictures of her show her as, like, very light, but they also show her with sandalwood paste, like they smeared with sandalwood paste. So, sandalwood is a good incense and a good powder and a good herb to offer, a good type of wood, I should say, good type of wood to offer Sarasvati. So sandalwood oil, sandalwood perfume. So she is said to even be that of Dharma, Dharma, and Mukti, Mukti, sorry, Dharma, DH is always in, in, in when you see the DH in, when written down, and Sanskrit has its own different alphabet, but when it's put down phonetically, the DH is the, a quick like the, not like the man, but the, DH, the. So it's, it's like, Almost like a short V, like the man, then that, but just short like that, then Dharma and Mukti. She represents perfection and liberation in Hinduism, which has many different branches, but was originally called Sanatana Dharma, the eternal truth. In fact, in Vedic lessons, she is the first to be she is prayed to in the beginning and at the end of Vedic lesson, she is prayed to again. So she is the beginning of the Vedic lesson and the end of the Vedic lesson. She is the Alpha and the Omega. And even in St. John the Divine, in the beginning was a word and the word was with God and the word was God. She is the word. She, in the beginning, says Vati. Sarasvati, the word was with God, so she was with God, and that she is God. And that even comes from an older, older uh, scripture that is older than St. Saint, Saint John Divines that describes something like that, where in the beginning was the sound in the word. And with the sound, all things were created. She is the power of Aum. I can do it better. Also could be pronounced oh. her bija mantra well is I'm it's usually written A I M or E I M but it's I'm I'm is knowledge. I'm is wisdom. I'm is Sarasvati. It is a Sanskrit letter. I'm. That is Sarasvati. Bija mantra. So you could just say I'm. 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 There's also a, a, different mantras to Sarasvati. And I'm is the basic mantra for her Harim represents all goddesses the all divine feminine Harim H-R-I-M 
There's also another things with the Mahavija. And actually, when it's one of her names is Mahavija. Great was she of great wisdom. But I also talk about Mahavijas in my other my other videos. So the Mahavijas are actually a list of tantric goddesses. But Om Mahavijaye Namaha. Om Mahavijaye Namaha. Om Mahavijaye Namaha. Om Mahavijaye Namaha. So she, Om, she of great wisdom, I bow to you. So that's one of the mantras that you can say to her. Now there's a Tibetan, there's now certain Buddhists, Tibetan Buddhists, do honor Sarasvati. So, so she is, for them, she is the spouse and the power, the Shakti of the Bodhisattva of wisdom, which is Man, Manjushri, Manjushri. And the mantra that you can say to her, and it translates as salutations to he who is realized in the heart through the great syllable the, which is Om Arafat Sana Thi Thi Thi, Om Arafat Sana Thi Thi Thi. And remember in Sanskrit, the V is interchangeable with the W. So you could say Sasvati or Sasvati. V is interchangeable with the W. You can replace with the W with the V and the V with the W. So we ha there's many, uh, many, many, many mantras to her. There's even Om and salutations to this power. Just trying to think of the translation. Let me say, say, the, say the mantra and I'll remember the <laughs> translation. Om Brahma Janaye Namaha. So it means Om and, and, and like salutations to the power that is uh, self aware, the self aware intelligence that pervades all of the universe. Om Brahma Janaye Namaha. She is the goddess of chemistry, astronomy, astrology, physics, astrophysics, all the high, the, the, the elementary learning and higher learning. She's the goddess of all inspiration. She's a goddess of playwrights. So those who write scripts, of right comedy. That's her. The guitarist, the drummer, the flute player, the trumpet player. So she can also be found in music halls. That's another place. Art museums. You can find her, since she deals with astronomy, NASA. A lot of people don't think that, NASA. She can be found in there, which people forget. that she deals with that. Intelligent people work at NASA, do they not? And she deals with astronomy and physics. That's a no-brainer. So, what else can I talk about her? 
is one of her name is Bharat Bharati, and her manifestations of eloquence. She's transcendental transcendental knowledge. She's also called she's also called dealed with Vak B A C H Vak as speech. Or ya, as the noble one. A R Y A R Ya. Mahavani as a transcendental word. She is also known as Kama Venu, the wish fulfilling cow. Brahmi as I said before, as the power of immense being. She is the great Shakti of knowledge. So, what else can I talk about uh, Brahma? I mean, sorry, Sarvati. Again, my, I'm not perfect, but says but the represents the yes words can be used for ignorance, but true says but the is the transcending of ignorance. Look through the lies, read between the lines. Yes, the power of knowledge can be used for evil, but it should be as says but the, the true says but the is to transcend. She is the goddess of all communication and communion with the divine. Communion with the divine. Share name, as I said, means the flowing one. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. I've talked long enough about her. There's so much to learn about Sarasvati. I encourage you to look at other YouTube videos. I encourage you to look at websites about her. I encourage you to go and read books and learn all about her if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you did not give me a thumbs down please subscribe so that you never miss a video and that helps my channel to grow i do not have a patreon account i don't wish to have one right now i'm not rich by any means but my payment to me is just like the video and subscribe also also, please check out cuddly.com, www.cuddly.com. I am not sponsored by them. Cuddly.com is, if you are going to pay me, go to cuddly.com. And there you get to see different charities and organizations to help animals. You get to pick the certain animal that you want to help. A cat, a dog, you get to see their breed, the name, their story. You get to look at what this person, this charity wants. It could be food. You could buy a bag of food. Sometimes it's three dollars. Sometimes you could donate six dollars or ten dollars. It will show you what they need, all the way up from like I guess three dollars to like a hundred dollars for pick out the medicine they need to pick out you know the herbals and supplements they need, the minerals they need, the topicals they need, or the toy that a dog or a cat or a horse may like. So there's different animals to, su to support. So you get to know their name, the breed, the picture, and you get to feel good doing that. So go hit up www.cuddly.com because animals mean so much to me. I love animals. I support animals. Also, there's a movie coming out and the under James Grimm's channel. It's going to be my special boy about Jason. I love Friday the 13th. I love it. <laughs> so it's gonna so you can like drop him a few dollars if you want. The same money that you would have given me, give to him or give to Cuddly. You know, if you were gonna give me ten dollars, give it to him. Support his works and you know, support his indigo indiegogo campaign and he also has uh different uh 
carrot at the end of this it gives it different rewards like you can uh get imbd credit you can get you could buy yourself a shirt so whatever you were going to give to me give to cuddly.com or give to james grimm to to help him with my special boy look at the trailer it's awesome but thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it every one of you whether you're subscribers or not thank you so much so much and i hope that if you weren't smiling before you're smiling now i really hope you're smiling and know that you are beautiful and i really appreciate you please share this video with your friends and family on facebook share it through text through messenger i hope you feel great and and to next time, as always, blessed be. And that's Shadow. And remember, my kittens turned nine nine months on the second already. What? Blessed be.